Researchers are hoping to revolutionise the way we treat Parkinson's disease. We're targeting for the first time the gut rather than the brain. New technology has led scientists to find that the gut plays a role in advancing the disease. The gut is uh, increasingly being recognised as an important player in brain health in general. So the, there's very strong links between gut and depression, for example. And depression is one of the earliest symptoms you see in Parkinson's. Now funding from the US will give the Queensland team the chance to develop targeted treatments in an effort to slow or even stop the progression of the the debilitating illness. It's little things at the moment. Uh, the longer term things are the sort of knowing where I'm heading and knowing what sort of life I may be heading towards is something I don't want to think about too much. Despite its growing prevalence, there isn't an effective treatment for Parkinson's. 50 Australians are diagnosed with Parkinson's every single day, but experts expect that figure to increase, with known links to chemical exposures from industry and occupations such as farming, firefighting and the military. It used to be a disease that occurs in people 65 and older, but because of the growing chemical exposures, we are seeing people diagnosed in their 40s and some even in their 30s. An estimated 200,000 Australians have Parkinson's disease. It's hoped this new approach to treatment will help improve their quality of life. With AI and everything else, things seem to be moving a lot quicker than what they were 10 years ago. So there's always hope. Liz Gwynn, ABC News.